Item number SCP-2398 Security Level 1 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures SCP-2398 is contained in the standard High Security Containment Locker at Site-81. Personnel seeking clearance to test SCP-2398 must submit the proper paperwork to the Site-81 Head of Research Administration's office. Personnel testing SCP-2398 are forbidden from swinging SCP-2398 towards any other Foundation personnel. Updated Containment Procedures Testing of SCP-2398 is currently restricted. Description SCP-2398 is a plain wooden baseball bat, roughly 110 centimeters in length and made of ash with a taped grip. SCP-2398 bears no unusual markings other than the letters K.O. branded into the wood just above the handle. SCP-2398 displays no anomalous properties when not in use. However, when swung at a speed over roughly 20 meters per second, any living organism that SCP-2398 comes in contact with at the end of the swing will violently explode. The mechanism for this is currently unknown. Discovery SCP-2398 was discovered by Foundation personnel embedded in the city of Toronto. Local authorities, after an altercation between Toronto Blue Jays baseball player Carl Thomas and a group of young men and women, one of the men, seeing Mr. Thomas approaching his vehicle after leaving a nearby nightclub, attempted to assault Mr. Thomas in an attempted robbery, quickly accompanied by three other men and two women. Mr. Thomas managed to get SCP-2398 out of the back seat of his car and swung it at one of the women, causing her body to detonate. The assailants quickly dispersed, and the passerby called the police. Addendum 2398-1 Interview Begin Nog All right, you already spoke with Officer Marco. We just need to know for the record what happened tonight. Man, I already told you. I don't know what happened. That girl must have had a bomb in a bag or something. I was trying to fight him off, you know. And then she'd come to me, so I took a swing at her. Next thing I know, there was a sound like a balloon popping. And she just... everywhere. Yo, I heard about them before. You know, uh, suicide bombers. That's some messed up stuff. Mr. Thomas, where do you get the bat you had for that night? Bat? Yo, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I can promise you this is go a lot better for you if you tell us what we need to know. Hang on, I wonder a lawyer. I ain't saying stuff until I get a lawyer. I'm not a cop, and you won't be getting a lawyer. <sighs> look, man, I don't know all about this man. I just look. I heard some talk about why they weren't going to renew my contract. My numbers haven't been great since the injury. So, you know, almost you got to do some stuff. And a bat? A friend of a friend. I might have cheated, but I ain't no snitch. What does it do? You didn't see. Three home runs, four RBIs. Best game of my career. It hits homers, man. It's all it does. It's really, it's a really good bat. It's all it does. Oh crap, I guess not, huh? Addendum 2398-2 Testing Log Test ID 2398-1 Testing Parameters SCP-2398 is run by an operator at a melon. Test result. Melon is knocked onto the floor and smashed. No difference from non-anomalous control test. Note. Hmm, nothing out of the ordinary here. Food is unaffected. Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-2. Testing parameters. SCP-2398 is rung by an operator at a regulation baseball. 
test result. Baseball flies towards the wall of the test chamber in its deep arc and embeds itself roughly 15 centimeters into the steel wall of the chamber. Note, it seems to be ectoentropic. The ball definitely left the bat going faster than the bat was swung. Interesting, Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-3. Testing parameters. SCP-2398 is swung by an operator at a beach ball. Test result. Beach ball is knocked across the testing chamber. No difference from non-anomalous control test. Note. This is very interesting. Somehow the bat is able to differentiate the baseballs and other balls. I wonder if softballs are likewise unaffected. Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-4. Testing parameters. SCP-2398 is swung by an operator at a regulation softball. Test result. Softball combusts but does not explode. Note. Huh, Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-5. Testing parameters. SCP-2398 is swung by an operator at a test chicken. Test result. Test chicken finally explodes, sending feathers and viscera across the testing chamber. Operator is injured when a piece of beak becomes large into the arm. SCP-2398 is unaffected. Note, our controlled chicken was also killed when we hit it with a non anomalous baseball bat. This was a little more dramatic, but there might be a better test to run here. Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-6. Testing parameters. SCP-2398 swung by an operator at a test cow. Test result. Test cow finally explodes. Operator is killed as a result of the explosion. Testing chamber is severely damaged. Note, the more massive the creature, the more violent the explosion. The good news is, our test cow wasn't killed when he hit it with a regular bat. So we're at least seeing a notable difference now, Dr. Towns. Test ID 2398-7 Testing parameters SCP-2398 is swung by a machine at a test peg. Test result. During the setup of the swing robotic arm rig, the arm swings prematurely, striking Dr. Towns in the arm, causing him to violently explode. The swinging robotic arm rig is destroyed. The resulting explosion causes SCP-2398 to arc across the test chamber and strike the test peg, which also violently explodes. That explosion causes SCP-2398 to then strike 2D-class personnel used as operators in earlier tests, who also violently explode. The test chamber is destroyed as a result of the four explosions. SCP-2398 is unaffected and later placed back into containment. Notes. We're probably going to suspend testing of this for a while. Dr. Lyle.